Hey everybody, hello, hello, hello. Let me turn on my light. How is everybody? Welcome to Raincross Farms Makery. I am Robin and this is, I believe this is Tuesday evening. So welcome to my craft studio. And I have a fun, I always say I have a fun project tonight. I'll ever, I'll, I'll just let you know if I ever don't have a fun project. Anyway, thanks for joining us. I am coming to you just outside of Lewiston, Idaho. My husband Bill is usually here behind the camera, behind the computer. Tonight he's running a little behind. He's he's out and about and so he might pop in later. But anyway, we are going to kind of wing it old school with the with the camera phone instead of all the overhead doodads. So hopefully, hopefully we do okay. I'm going to take a second and pull this up on my computer and hopefully pin a comment where did that um i don't know where that came from we're going to unpin that and do 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 and we're gonna unpin that. I don't know where that came from. So, let me get that comment. Get it going. Hi, Cheryl. And do, 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 there we go. Can I pin it yet? Can't pin it yet. Pin it. Awesome. So say hello when you pop on. Welcome, welcome. Cheryl, I don't know if you heard. Bill's not here right now. I don't know if he he is uh, he's out and about and he may join us later. In the meantime, it's just you and me and whoever else pops on. So feel free to say hello so I know you're watching. If you're new, let us know where you're watching from. If you're having any technical issues, let me know and I'll... I'll, I don't know what I'll do. I don't know if I can fix them. Anyway, we'll give it a try. If you are watching and there is a red box up here that says live, you're watching us in real time. If that box is not there, you're watching the replay. All well and fine. Anytime you watch us is great. Just make sure you comment hashtag replay in the comments so we'll know when you watched. Okay, and let me... Get rid of some of this. Hopefully I'll be able to see comments. I think my glasses are a little dirty. Okay. Hi Rhonda, welcome, good evening. Yesterday was a fun day for me. We had some friends who came to visit and they flew out of Spokane uh, yesterday. They asked us to drive them to the airport and we gladly said yes not because we are such good friends but because there's a Hobby Lobby in Spokane and that's the closest Hobby Lobby to me so we always say yes if you want to come visit us fly into Spokane we'll be happy to pick you up as long as it's not on a Sunday <laughs> anyway again welcome we would so appreciate it if you would like or love our page follow our page and uh, sprinkle this video out to your page, to um, to any of your friends that are, are of the crafty persuasion and any craft groups that you belong to that allow live videos to be shared. We'd certainly appreciate it. And we do have our stars activated. So thank you all for any and all support. Okay, so I got lots of things at Hobby Lobby. They are having I don't know if it I don't know if it's nationwide. They are having 90% off, 90% off of their spring, anything that says spring collection. So I kind of went crazy. I found, thank you for sprinkling, Cheryl. I found some surfaces that we could use with our transfers super duper cheap. So let me show you. I got a bunch of, I think I got five of these. Okay. So apparently, please forgive me if you are a diehard Marvel fan, but apparently they didn't sell very well. They had a bunch of these. I mean, you can see how big this is. It is about 13 by 
13 by 19, which is perfect for our 12 by 18 transfers. So we are going to use one of these. I, this is one we haven't prepped yet, but this is just a, um, a paper label. So you could paint over it. Let me see if I'm missing any comments. The nearest Dollar General is can I, 150. Oh my goodness. What about a Dollar Tree? Do you have Dollar Trees nearby? That would that would be very hard. You live you live further out in the boonies than we do, I guess. Um, and we don't have any Dollar Generals. We have a Family Dollar, and we have do, we have Dollar Trees. Anyway, you can paint over this, or you could sand off this label. Now, Bill actually sanded one off. He went out in the garage and he used his orbital sander. He said it came off so easy you could easily do it with with just a. Uh, with just a uh, some sandpaper so anyway I'll leave that up to you but let me tell you how much this was this retail is $19.99 which means 90% off I paid two dollars for a wood no it's not hardwood it's a it's a press wood but a wooden board and it's not Dollar Tree where it's kind of tweaked or bowed or something like this. This is this is Hobby Lobby quality. So for $2, I got this, and all I have to do is cover this up, and that's what we're gonna do tonight. So let me, I don't have Bill here reading my comments. Okay, my voice is cutting in and out and freezing. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it, um, are you having that problem, Cheryl? Or is it just Rhonda? Okay, like she said, it try try leaving the live, and but you got to come back and come back. Sometimes just going out and coming back in kind of fixes that. You see, a, yes, get to it because I don't know how long it'll last. There were there were scavengers there in the ninety percent section. Okay, so you did it. Did it improve, Rhonda, or is it still bad? I hope it improved. Anyway, so this is my Hobby Lobby bag. So here is the one that Bill that Bill went out and sanded, and it's got a hanger. He said you can't get you can't buy this wood with the hanger on it for two dollars. So he totally supported me buying this. Okay, still glitching. Oh, I don't I don't know what to say. It's not our normal sound, but. Um, I don't know. Be patient, and if you really can't stand it, then um, come back and watch the replay because generally all those things kind of work themselves out by the time we get to the replay. But I hate to say goodbye. Joanne, yay! Thank you. Thank you. No, I'm having a whole birthday month, so, so you're not late. Anyway, so Bill sanded this, and then he just kind of spray painted a primer on it. And it kind of left it, you know, when, when you paint on wood, it kind of raises up the little hairs. So what I do need to do is sand it just a little bit, and then I'm going to paint over it again with chalk paint. Yay! Everybody's saying hello to everybody. Okay, so I'm just sanding that down so it's it's a lot smoother. And basically that that's kind of a primer. You don't need to do that. But it should work really well. So I'm going to use my chalk paint. This is Waverly brand. It's the color ink. Uh, Waverly brand, I believe I got at, I believe that's the Walmart brand. Some Walmarts aren't carrying it anymore, but any kind of chalk paint brand in their black. Okay, sometimes you use a different browser. Oh yeah, you might try that. Like if you're on Google, on, on the Google one, you might switch over to Safari or, or something. I don't know. Okay. Yep, Bill is, I don't, I'm not sure where he's at. I think he's uh, taking care of business. We're actually trying, we're trying something a little bit different. 
we have been told by several people, let me plug in my glue gun. I don't know how true it is, but we've been told by several people that Facebook does not favor lives that are run on um, the horizontal picture or third-party software. And we have been doing both of those. Our cameras, our webcams, and so they really only uh, film in the horizontal mode. And we have been using third-party software that allows us to change the cameras so we get the overhead shot and not. And so we've been concerned why, why our send your birthday wishes if yes of course of course um we haven't been we haven't been getting a lot of viewers we haven't been getting the reach the facebook reach that we had hoped to get so we are we are attempting to see if that is the problem the third party software so for the next couple of weeks we are going to be going live with just the with the phone camera and see if it helps Anyway, I'm going to paint this. So I'm going to just, oh, oh, that's pretty thick. Chalk paint is pretty thick. Let me get some out there. I might have to get a, I might have to get a stir stick or something. So I'm just going to, we're gonna paint over the top of this using our chalk paint. And I'm using a big wide foam brush because I thought with my smaller brushes, I didn't want to get a lot of streaks because this is a pretty big surface that I'm trying to cover. So I thought I would try it with a big wide foam brush. It's probably what three inches wide and it goes a lot faster. I like using chalk paint because uh, oh, Joanne, you are such, you are so silly. Um, I like using chalk paint because it adheres really well. It dries really fast and covers really well. Now, I, I'm not too worried about coverage because it was primered with that black. But worst case is I might have to use two coats. If I was, if maybe if I was covering up the actual photo, I don't know if you saw Joanne. I don't know if you popped on later. What I'm using is a surface that looked used to look like this. Got it from Hobby Lobby. They are having 90% off of any of their spring collection, and apparently, it says the spring shop. Anything in the spring shop, at my, at least at my Hobby Lobby and I've heard it from others, is 90% off. So apparently Marvel Comics signs weren't particularly popular, and so they had quite a few. So I picked up, I think, five. I paid $2 each for them. They're regularly $20, so I got them for $2 each. I feel like I'm rocking here. I hope I'm not making anybody seasick. So that's already drying up. Okay. Make sure I don't have any brush strokes. We are going to do a really fun technique with this. And if you don't already have this transfer, you're going to want it. Okay, so I've got that done. I'm going to stick that in some water. And I'm going to close this up. And I'm going to give this a little bit of a dry. Okay, yours too, 90% off. It is awesome. It was so fun, because you just, it's so easy to figure out the price. If it was $20, you just move one of those zeros out, and it's now $2. If it was $4.99, it's now $0.49. Cents. So I got quite a bit of stuff. We had, everybody was there. Everybody was there. People had three and four carts full of stuff. So, it was good timing. So I'm gonna dry this up and it's gonna dry a matte finish. 
that we're going to end up waxing it so that'll give it a little bit of a shine so let me show you what we're going to use we are going to use this transfer it is called four farmhouse patterns I realize I don't have the noise gate on with this with this uh, microphone so hopefully you can hear me over the over the noise of this hello patty welcome we are i am i am flying solo tonight we are doing a cute little project we're going to do a background pattern this comes with um it comes with a brick pattern it comes with um, a dictionary dictionary page with all those words pattern it's got barnwood pattern, and here it's got chicken wire. We're going to use the chicken wire tonight. So, pretty awesome. One transfer, and you get four different, four different patterns, and they're meant to tile. And I'll sh we're going to, we're going to have to tile with that. They will line up from side to side, so you can use it over and over. You know, when you sit there in your chair, the pink flower wreath behind you looks like a hair wreath on my head. I do need to get rid of that wreath. It's uh, kind of springy. Kind of got time to fill it out, change it out with something autumn. Okay, so I think that is dry. Just want to make sure. Okay, dry, dry, dry. Now, because we painted paint on a wooden surface, we are going to wax this. I don't want my sticky transfer to pull the paint up when I pull the transfer up. So I'm gonna take some of my surface wax. It's clear paste wax. And I'm going to completely put it all over this surface because we are gonna put that chicken wire all over the background. <laughs> hey, where are you? Are you monitoring from upstairs? It's kind of lonely down here. Oops. Okay, now there's a fine line between too much wax and not enough wax. So I'm putting it on, not too thick, but pretty solid. And then I'm going to buff off any of the excess. Too much wax and, and my paste won't stick properly. Not enough wax and I will, I risk pulling up that paint. So I've got that completely covered and it still feels a little tacky. So that tells me I need to do some buffing. So I'm just using a microfiber cloth. Oh, garage installing lights. I'm identifying as a tree. <laughs> okay. What kind of a tree are you, Joanne? That sounds like one of those silly icebreaker games. If you were a tree, what kind of a tree would you be? Okay. So we are waxed. I'm not going to completely put it away because we're gonna need it again. And we are going to take this pattern and we're gonna cut it apart because again, it's four. my scissors and I'm going to cut these apart so how is everybody doing this lovely Tuesday night Joanne is busy identifying as a tree you might have to explain a little more what you mean by that okay so here's the Here's the dictionary words. 
Here is the barn wood. We're going to use all of these, but just not tonight. And then we have a brick pattern. Here are the bricks. And here is the chicken wire. So this is the one we're going to use. So we're going to end up tiling this several times to cover up this board. So I'm going to start. I'm sure I'm not missing any comments. Hey, Billy boy. Um, someone had said, Rhonda had said she'd had trouble with the volume and cutting in and out and freezing. Are you, ha are you seeing any problem with that from where you are? Cheryl says it's fine. I have, Joanne hasn't complained about it. Okay, so I'm putting a little bit of fuzz on this to, because this is a brand new transfer. It's sticky on the back. And there's quite a bit of uh, material that is sticky. So I don't want it to stick so hard that I pull up something. So I'm putting a little bit of lint on this just to tone that down. And I'm going to try to get this on straight. Straight as I can. We're going to end up covering up the corners anyway. Okay. So I'm going to push that down, make sure I have no air bubbles or I don't have any big chunks of lint in there. Okay, Patty says I keep freezing also. Oh, well, we are still glitching here on and off with reception. So I don't know if that's because I'm using the phone or I don't know if our internet is having problems. But hang in with me as long as you can. I'm going to chalk this in silver, shimmer silver, so it looks like chicken wire. Is that not cool? That's gonna look gorgeous. Okay, so I've got shimmer silver. I'm going to give it a stir because the, the mica, the little mica pieces tend to sink down. So I'm going to stir that up. I'm going to take, I got a big chunk, so I'm going to take my, my small squeegee, not my mini, and I'm just going to, whoops, I didn't want to do that. I kind of went crazy. That's all right. I think it will be covered up by our other transfer that we're going to put down. I'm going all the way to the edges because I'm going to match up the edges with the same transfer over again. Okay, get the excess. in there. I'm going to clean off my fingers. He's still here. It's all good. I sit watching you with a cat. Only one cat on your lap? <laughs> okay. I'm going to see if I can touch that up just a bit. Look at this. Look at this. Ooh, I don't know if you can see it. This is when I wish we had the overhead the overhead camera. Okay, look at that chicken wire. Is that not cool? Does that not look like chicken wire? Okay, awesome. Okay, now I'm going to spin it around and I'm going to match up. I'm not gonna clean it yet. I'm gonna see if I can do this without having to clean it just yet. And I'm going to match up those ends And I need to get over the top of it so I can see. I'm going to match up those ends. And I'm going to push that down. And it should, it should just match right up. So you don't have to have a big, huge transfer.
Okay, let's scrape off that excess and let's peel this up. And I don't think you can, I can't, I don't think you can tell where I, where I stopped and where I started. What do you think? Do you like that? Okay, I'm going to dry it a bit and then I'm going to clean the transfer because I'm going to put it down again and it's starting to get a little gunky. So I don't want to... I don't want to make my image look smudgy. Awesome, I've got some hearts and I've got some thumbs up. So, wait till you see what we're gonna put on this. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside. I'm gonna clean this up. And I'm gonna put it on one of these. So I'm just putting it on a dish drying mat and I'm going to spray it with water. It does not have to be any special water. This happens to be distilled, but it doesn't, doesn't need to be. And I'm gonna start with either a paper towel or one of these Swedish dish cloths. And I'm going to start taking that top layer of the paste off. Now this isn't super clean yet. That just took that top layer off. See how much I, I pulled off of there. Next I get my board eraser which is like a magic eraser uh, but no chemicals. And I'm going to get that damp and I'm going to spray it again. Now this is going to grab hold of all that paste and really clean my transfer. My goal is to get all of that paste out of the screen. And if it, gets, if it gets too much, you just rinse it out again. Okay. And the paste likes to seep underneath, so I do the same thing with the back. Spray and wipe it with my board eraser. Piece of lint. So I am trying to pull off any of that lint that I put on initially so that my backer is clean. Okay. And we're gonna use it again right away. So I'm going to, instead of letting it air dry, I'm going to dry it off with a paper towel so I can use it again. I, I do too, it does look like chicken wire without all the prickly parts, yes. I could lay down actual chicken wire, but that's a giant pain. And my transfer is all sparkly because, because of that shimmer paste. Okay, so that's mostly dry, I'm going to kind of just Flip it around and air dry it. And then I'm going to line it back up and chalk the next part. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna do, oh, there is a right side and a wrong side. Make sure I'm up there high enough. And spread that down, make sure. Okay, I think that's touching. Same thing, more shimmer silver. That's way more than I need and squeegee away. So I could do an entire wall with this transfer. It might, I might get kind of tired of it. 
after a while. Rid of the excess. Put it back in my jar. Now, if I don't get it completely lined up, that's okay. We call it rustic. Okay. Same thing. Paste and peel. I had a little section there that didn't, that didn't take. I'm going to lay that back down and see if I can get it to adhere. There we go. Looks like it's all one piece. I'm going to give it a quick dry. Use this one. And we'll continue on. We'll need to use it one, two, three more times. way so I can see it up close and make sure I've got that okay and I'm gonna lay this back down so now this one I have to match up in two places I have to match it up left to right and top to bottom to lightly push that down because it's got it's got paste on it clean off my hands same thing on this one I'm just using a portion of it I'm gonna have to order some more shimmer silver especially with Christmas coming up I need my shimmer silver and my shimmer gold off. You still here with me? You are up to 18 chickens. We are, I'm missing something here. Okay, I'm sorry, Patty. You're probably already gone, but uh, I, I understand. Please watch the replay. Um, duck eggs, less than we should, Bill's talking, Bill's talking chickens. Ooh, what did they do there? Get rid of that. Okay. Let's peel this off. Looks good. Okay, and a little bit of dry. Okay, and I have I have silver glittery stuff all over my fingers. Like, that's not a good thing. Okay, and I'm going to clean this again one more time. Same thing, water. And paper towel or... Swedish dishcloth. 
This just gets that top layer off. It kind of saves wear and tear on my board eraser. Okay, set that aside. Switch over to board eraser. Same thing. Clean this up. Flip it over. Getting all that paste out of the screen. And I'm gonna turn that over. Okay, and back to paper towel. Give it a quick dry. Don't want that big chunk of lint. Fancy is a young bird, but she is getting big. Yep, she's, we named her right. She is our fancy chicken. She is a buff Brahma. She has the fancy feathers on her feet. Looks like she's wearing big old boots. Okay, and I'm just gonna air dry this a bit. And let's finish this up. Okay, just this lower section and there is a right side up. Well, there, it, it makes a difference which side you use. So you might want to, you might want to mark the top or whatever you call the top with a Sharpie. see that okay and line that up I want to make sure it touches so it overlaps oops okay same thing Shimmer Silver. Right up to those edges. So when I put this transfer back down on top of it, it, uh, it does, I'm not laying it on wet paste. Okay. And then one more little section over here to match up. It's not wanting to match up as well. Pardon me. Sorry, this is boring. Okay, close enough. One last little section.
Okay, take that out. I'm done with the silver. I'm going to close that up. Wash my fingers. What am I missing? Put bringing it up and bring them downstairs. <laughs> well, Heckle and Jekyll are probably the actual Heckle and Jekyll probably are boys, but they're just kind of, they just reminded us of Heckle and Jekyll. Okay, so that one is a little bit off center. But that's okay. It's not going to matter because we're going to put another transfer on top of this. So I'm not going to wash this up right now. I'm just going to spray it down with water so it stays damp. I'm going to dry this up. And then I'm going to show you Okay, here it is. Is that not cool? It also kind of looks like fishnet stockings, but up close, it looks like chicken wire. Okay, we are going to use, I've used this before on my refrigerator. We're gonna use this transfer on it. My roost, my rules with our gorgeous little rooster. So we are going to put that right in the middle. This is still coming, Chuck. Yeah, I'm not surprised you have a neighbor that has a steer that they call Chuck. Okay, I just pasted this, and so I'm going to wax it again lightly because I don't want this transfer to pull this paste up. Thank you for the thumbs up. Yes, Cheryl, do you, do you have it, Cheryl? You probably do. Okay, so I'm not going to use a ton of paste on this because I really don't need it on the wood. I'm really just kind of making sure that chicken wire is getting a little dab of it on the top. And I'm also going to buff that out. Because again, too much, too much wax and the paste won't adhere very well. Okay, looks good. Okay, so here is our big old My Roost, My Rules. We are going to, I've used it before, but I'm going to, I'm going to fuzz it anyway, just because I don't want it too sticky. Wish I, it's still, they still have it in stock. If you are interested in any of these transfers, the four farmhouse patterns or the My Roost My Rules, if you comment what did I say? Rooster. If you comment rooster, you will get a link to all the supplies so you can take a look. And I checked this morning, they were all still in stock. Now I'm sure when my roost, my rules sells out, they most likely will not be bringing it back because it's from last year. So if you really like it, don't wait too long to get it. I'm fuzzing away, Joanne. Now the four farmhouse patterns is a new one. So if it did sell out, they would probably bring it back, but it's, it would take a while to reorder. Okay, so I've got that fuzzed and I'm going to center it on my board and it fits very nicely.
So I'm pushing this down to make that adhere and make sure there's no bubbles or big chunks of fuzz underneath that. So I think I'm going to make this pop and I'm going to do this in, in bright red, the My Roost My Rules in red. Now this is a big transfer, so I don't want to do, I don't want to chalk the entire thing before I pull it up or it will end up drying. I don't want that to happen. That is not wanting to stick. Maybe I need to buff some wax off. That's a little better. If your transfer doesn't stick and you know it's sticky, you might be having a, a too much wax problem. Okay, so I'm going to start, I think I'm going to turn it sideways. And we're going to use red on my roost, my rules. We're going to make that pop. Again, I'm going to use my small squeegee. And I don't want to get, I don't want to get his head just yet. So I'm just chalking over that uh, design underneath, over the chicken wire. It will probably give a little bit of a pattern on this paste, but that will be cool. Felt that give a little bit. I'm hoping I didn't smudge it. Okay. Now I don't want that to dry, so I'm going to peel it up. Ooh. Okay, see, I'm seeing some parts. I think that is probably from the wax. but it's okay if it has kind of a rustic look. I'm gonna try. Okay, well, it's a, it's a little rustic and that's okay. I can either go over it later or I can just leave it like that. I'll show you in a moment. So I'm going to dry that. Okay. Now I'm not going to push that back down. I'm just going to gently lay it down there. And I am going to push this down. And I'm going to push this down. Okay. So let's do my rules, my roost, my rules. Coated. Scrape off the excess. Okay. I'm missing any comments? Red is your color. Oh, you would like this. You already spent like, this month's budget. Well, there's always next month. Okay, okay, that one came out a lot better. So I'm gonna have to, I'll, I'll go back over the top. Same thing, I'm gonna dry this and then just kind of gently lay this down. Okay. 
And then we're going to do our rooster. And our rooster, I pulled out all my shimmers because I want this, I want this bird to be awesome. That is not wanting to stick. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to take a break and I'm going to clean this transfer. I'm thinking there's too much, thinking there's too much wax right here. So I'm going to buff it off. And in the meantime, I'm going to clean this transfer. You've seen me do this, so bear with me. I'm not making you watch paint dry, so. So let's clean this up. side same thing spray water I still have people watching looks like gumbo will get his picture here I don't know who you're talking about you talking about Larry Okay, so I've got that. Spray it again. Get my board eraser. Buried in here. Now this size transfer, I would generally clean this up in my kitchen sink or my really big ones I actually do in my bathtub, but I kind of wanted to get it done while I was here. And I'm afraid I'm gonna spray that, so I'm gonna move that aside. Okay, let me flip this over. Clean the back side. All that paste off. Get all that fuzz off. Okay, and we're gonna use it again. So I'm getting out my paper towel. Ordinarily, I let it air dry. But, because I don't wanna take forever, I'm going to dry it with a paper towel, just lightly. aside. Put that aside. Let's bring this back. Okay, see, see how it looks? Okay, see the top? It kind of, kind of is splotchy. So I'm going to go over that again in a minute. And I'm not going to fuzz this because I really want this to stick really well. And I think I might have too much wax. So I'm going to buff this some more. So my paste 
sticks much better. Okay, so I'm gonna line this up right over where I had chalked before. Oops, sticky. I hope I'm not boring you. This is not a, this probably should not be the first project you ever attempt. You might want to wait till you have a little bit of experience. Okay, so I think that's lined up. I'm going to push down. Okay, so I'm going to push down my rooster. I'm not going to worry about lining up this bottom part. And so my rooster is going to have the red, the red head, the red, what are those, cockles or comb or whatever. So I'm going to, I'm just going to use my little detail tool. And I'm going to do his head, his comb red. and his little waddle in red. Okay. And then I'm going to do his feet. I'm gonna do his feet in brown. This is camel. So those are going to be kind of the plain colors. I'm going to do his legs and his feet in this brown. Okay. That aside, I'm going to peel this up. Smeared a little. Okay, so I'm gonna lay that back down, push down where I have not yet chalked, and I kind of moved that. Okay, so for, and you know what, I'm gonna do his little, I'm gonna do his little beak in this, in this brown also. Okay. And then the rest, we are going to do his chest, we're going to do in, um, I think we're going to do, I think we're just going to do these, these golds. This is, this is Shimmer Copper and this is Shimmer Harvest. Like I said, I'm, I'm pulling out all the shimmers for this guy. Yeah, I think I'm done with red. for shimmer copper and you know what I might put this is shimmer crimson I might put a little shimmer crimson in his chest area also okay 
Okay, so let's do, and this we're going to do hot mess. So we're just going to put a little bit here and there. And then we're going to we'll put a little bit more of this. And we're going to come back to those tail feathers. Harvest. Let's do some copper. Love the colors on Uncle Gumbo. Have you named this? Did I miss? Have you named this rooster Uncle Gumbo? I'm sure you heard our first rooster was Stew. Okay, so I've got it. I've just kind of got some spots here and there and I'm going to take a squeegee and I'm just going to kind of mix them in. So they kind of blend. Now, one good thing about shimmers is I have a little extra working time with them because they take a little bit longer to dry. So I don't need to paste and pull that just yet. Okay. Now, I'm not going to put this back in a jar because it is a mishmash of colors. So I'm just going to toss that. Now, I'm going to add some of these same colors but I'm gonna add some other colors. Okay, so I've got my harvest, I've got my copper, I've got my crimson. I am going to add Shimmer Moonlight, which is a beautiful deep blue with gold flecks because our bird has kind of iridescent tail feathers. So he's got some blue and green in his tail. That's kind of a lot of it right there. And I'm going to mix that with some shimmer olive. And this needs to be stirred up a bit. I apparently haven't used Shimmer Olive in a while. Okay, so same thing, just some little dollops here and there. And if I get any, see I got some blue in with that green. I don't want to get the blue into that paste jar. I keep messing that blue, that blue is everywhere. Okay, let's do the same thing that we've added. We've added that blue and green. And let's see how this baby looks when we've got him done. Okay, again, don't put that back in your jar. And I'm going to clean off my fingers. I'm sparkly all over. You have fudge to console you. Actually, I'm the one with issues, but tonight it's probably... <laughs> you only hear about 10%. So does Bill. <laughs> okay, let's... Let's see. Ooh, he's pretty. He's a fancy rooster. You dry him up. He's pretty. Uh, 
Okay, before I do that, I'm going to I'm going to rechalk this top part because that just looks a little too rustic for my taste. Let me line that up. Okay. So I'm just going to go over that word roost again a second time and hopefully cover up any of those bare spots. Hopefully that will look perfect. And we can call it a night. Well, almost, because we've got one more thing to do to this. We are going to actually put, we're going to enclose this into a frame like it's an actual hen house, roost, whatever. Okay, so I just put a second coat on that because the first one didn't stick really well, I think because of a wax issue. Hopefully this works. If not, we're just going with it. So let's peel that off. A little better. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to spray this because I'll clean it up better later. And then I'm going to show this to you. First of all, I'm going to clean up. So it's driving me crazy. Sometimes you get all these colors going and it gets a little out of control. I'm matching up all my lids. That rustic bar and spots are just my style. Good, because this is not perfect, but it's it's pretty cute. It is rustic. One more. And then I'm going to show you. My roost, my rules, cute little, cute big old rooster. Now we are going to frame this in. So what I did is I took, I did this ahead of time. I took some of my paint stir sticks that I get from Home Depot. These are the uh, 12 inch ruler sticks. And I think I needed one, two, three, I think I needed about eight of them. And I cut them down and I stained them. Now I stained them with a gray because I thought it was going to go on a back, back black background and that might look better than um, than brown. So I used I used just a medium gray um, acrylic paint and I applied it with a wet baby wipe so it kind of worked as a stain. Okay, so we are going to put a little frame around here. It's just going to kind of extend out. Okay, I'm gonna turn it sideways. And we're just gonna hot glue this on and then I might I might come back later and, uh, oh, sorry. I might come back later and put in some little nails, some little brad tacks. So it looks like it's nailed together. And I'm going to, I'm gonna just mark this off. 
so I can tell where I'm trying to line this up. I'm going to put this in about three quarters of an inch. This one. About three quarters of an inch. Okay. So, I've got my pieces. And center them. Okay. So I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue on that. Hold that down. You're hearing about 60% now. Well, I don't know what that is. Maybe I need to get a microphone when I'm using just the phone. Same thing here. Just a line of glue. So Joanne, have you ever tried your little kit that I sent you? Or is it is it packed away somewhere? I just want to know what you think of it. If you have tried it, I think you'd enjoy it. Oh, it's your internet, not ours. Well, it could be a little bit of both. And I should have this measured. And of course that doesn't, of course that's too long. I'm going to have to trim that. Okay, so I'm going to have to trim that. So let me show you how I do that. I get, I get a utility knife. Well, let me start by start by putting this down. Okay. Now, I could have Bill go out to the garage and get out his saw. but maybe he's not home. So let me show you how I trim up these, how I trim up these pieces. So let me mark where I need it to be cut. I need it cut right about there. Okay, so I'm gonna take just a flat edge, line that up, you know what, I'm gonna do it this way. That is right at four and a half inches. So I'm gonna take my blade and just score it three or four or five times. Then I'm gonna flip it over and do the same thing 
at the same dis at the same distance there. And then ordinarily I have ordinarily I have enough that I can just flick it off, but I, it's skinny, so I'm just going to take some pliers and snap that off. So I've got it scored front and back, and then take a sanding block and. Sand that smooth. And perfect. Sand it just a little bit more. Okay. So it's giving it a little bit of a frame. Gumbo looks amazing on there. I'm gonna have to call him Uncle Gumbo now. Okay, same thing here. I'm probably gonna have that same problem. It's gonna probably be just too short, just too long, okay. So I'm going to do the same thing. I really only need a little tiny bit off of this one. And I'm going to take these little pliers and just snap that off. Okay, so that trimmed it up and I'm going to sand the edges. Okay, so let's glue down this puppy. I know where it's even. Looks pretty cool. And then that should fit right in there. And there we are. We have it. Here we go. What do you think? My roost, my rules on a $2 Hobby Lobby surface used to be a Marvel comic poster. So it ended up costing me $2 for this. I painted over it. We used the, the chicken wire uh, farmhouse pattern behind it. And then we used the my roost, my rules transfer over the top of it. You can see that chicken wire in the back. I hope you like it. So I think I'm going to pose here for a second. So I have a good picture to show. 
and then I'm going to say goodbye to you. That, this was a long one. Anyway, tomorrow morning we are on uh, hosting a segment on Craft Around the Clock at 8.45 Pacific Time. Cute little, well, cute little project. It's going to be a different animal, not a chicken. And you'll just have to come and see. Uh, 8.45. Um, you can look for it on our page. You can look for it on Craft Around the Clock. Um, if you can't watch it live, watch the replay. It's going to be cute, 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 and you're going to want to make some yourself. So thanks a lot for hanging with us, for hanging out till the very end, and we will see you again tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.